So you're going to click on the link in Google Classroom, and it's going to take you to this page here. You're going to go down to the bottom left and click on this button, Start Designing for Free. It'll take you here to sign in. You're going to click on the G here at the bottom. This is going to let you sign in with your school email. So once you click on that, find your school email, click on that, let it load. All right, it's going to take some time. This is how the software is going to be used. And with this video, y'all, you can always pause it. You can always rewind it. You can always go forward. As you're watching this video, I expect you to be working and designing your house, designing your game room. So if this pops up on you, y'all, press skip. Anything with prices, y'all, we are not buying anything. So make sure we do not click on any buying stuff. We're going to click on new design down here. First things first, before I even start, I'm going to name my project. If I click on this button here, I'm going to come up here. I'm going to type in Mr. Bermudez. You're going to type in your name. All right, I'm typing Mr. Bermudez. You can type in your name. You're going to put a dash, and then you're going to type in game room. Game room. Once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and click save. Click save. It's going to create it for you. And then we can start. So the first things first, all of our buttons over here, we're going to use a couple of them right now. Up here, you have your file, your save button. We're going to click on this a couple times throughout our lesson. If you ever need to undo something, you do this. You click on this. Um, and I'll show you how this is uh, how this works with our with our room here. First things first, we're gonna click on the draw room button, the one that looks just like a box here. Once it's blue, y'all, that means I can come in my workspace here, and I'm gonna zoom out a little bit using my mouse, using my trackpad, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna click and notice how I'm creating a room. I want you to notice the number up on top that's changing. I'm not clicking on it again. I clicked on it once and I'm just kind of dragging it around. The number up top is changing a lot. I want you to use your keypad and type in three zero, that's 30. And then you're gonna type in an apostrophe, that little dot, you're gonna click enter. And notice how it takes my room to that length. Notice how the number on the right now is the one that's highlighted blue. I'm gonna type in 30 again, and then I'm gonna type in on the far right on your keyboard, the apostrophe, just like that. Then click enter, and it's gonna create my room, y'all. This is gonna be our game room. Oh, anytime, notice how I clicked uh, accidentally and it's try, trying to create another room. I'm gonna click on the top left, the ESC button, the escape button. I'm gonna click it again, and notice how my tool's no longer blue. Now I can move around. We just created one room that is 30 feet by 30 feet. And if I look at this side, it's like if I'm looking at it from above. If I look at this window here, this will show me inside the room. I can click and drag. We're going to start adding some stuff in here, and this is going to start to change. So this is a little bit easier to see from the top. Next thing you're going to do, y'all, you're going to add, let's do a single door. Actually, let's do a double door. Let, let's let's be spicy here. We're going to do a double door entrance to our, our, our game room here. And I'm going to try to put it on the bottom over here. Once it's clicked in, I'm going to click, make sure it's locked in. If I want to make this open a little bigger, I can drag it here if I want to. But about like six feet is fine. Six one, that's, that's totally fine. So once you have the window down, or sorry, the door down, you're going to click on the window now. And this is why we had a couple windows options for our room. So I'm going to try to see if I can put maybe a window there. Let some light in, right? I'm going to click a window here. And I'm going to try to add one more window. I'm going to add it on this side. Like right about the middle. So I have three windows here. You can add more if you want. I think three is a pretty good amount. And I'm gonna make this one up on top just a little wider, about close to five feet. There it is. Now check out what happened in the top right view. 
I started adding the windows and the doors and look, it added the window and the doors in here as well. We're gonna, we're gonna fix these in just a bit. We're gonna add some cool stuff in here. If you ever wanna switch, right? If you ever wanna go inside the room, if you click on this button right here, guess what? Now it becomes your view and you can see that we have a room here. This is gonna be your game room that you're gonna add a lot of really cool stuff into. We have our double doors there. Now on the right side, we have our, our uh, plan view, right? The view from the very top. I'm gonna click on this again. I wanna work in this space right here. This is the space that's best uh, to add stuff to. Now, we created the room. We're basically set to start adding cool stuff into it. What I want you to do is go to model library. In model library, I want you to click on, notice how some of these things, sorry, some of these things say it, it costs money. We're not clicking on any of those. Remember, we are not clicking on those. We're gonna click on catalog. Actually, we'll start with structures, sorry. We'll go with structures, and I want to click on doors. I'm gonna design my door a little bit, add a cool door that I like to my room. And I want you to notice some of these, like this one, you know, you see how it has that money sign here? That means if I click on this one, I'm gonna have to pay. I'm not gonna use these. Any ones with the ones that have money sign there, I'm totally not gonna use. Instead, you know what, this has two doors. I'm gonna go ahead and drag this over and plug it in for my doors here. Here, I'm gonna switch over, make sure it works. I'm gonna drag it over. It's gonna replace that door. And look at that, I changed up my doors. Let's see, do I want a different type? Oh, all these cost money. Oh, these don't. You know what, y'all? I like these glass ones a little better. So you're gonna choose one that you really like, and it's up to you, this is your choice. Again, as long as it does co doesn't cost money, you're free to choose it. I'm gonna go, oh, this one looks fancy. I like that one, there you go. Kind of gives me a feel, look, there's like mountains out there, I like that. Okay, we're gonna go to structure again, and then we're gonna click on windows. And I'm gonna click inside, and I'm gonna rotate. Notice how I'm like clicking down and rotating it. I'm dragging it across. And I have a couple windows here, but I'm gonna add some fanciness to it. Some, you know, I don't want it just to be a plain window. All these have a money sign next to it. So I'm gonna skip all these. There we go. We got to some that aren't, that don't cost money. I'm gonna click on this one. Let's see, do I like this? I think I do. I'm gonna click on that. Notice how this is kind of smaller. You can always make this a little bigger later on. So I'm gonna rotate and then add two windows to these two sides. Let's see, I like, hmm, no, I don't like any of those actually. I'm just scrolling down searching, take your time with this. I like this window. Oh no, we already have that window. I don't really like that one. You know what? I think I'm gonna go with the dinosaur window. I'm gonna do it. Add it in there. I'm gonna go with this window actually. Okay, and let's say I wanna change it up. I can just drag over a new window. It'll replace it. Now I have my windows in place. I'm gonna go ahead and click this button and switch a little bit. And I can always make my windows bigger by just dragging this dot here, y'all. Clicking on here, dragging the dot, and making them bigger, making them look bigger. Notice how this got slightly bigger. Now, we're gonna click on catalog. This is where all the cool stuff. What I want you to do, you're gonna go into your style board in Google Classroom. So I'll show you a little bit. If you go to your style boards from last week, go into that, I see a couple of y'all have yours in here. Click on your style board, and it's gonna open up your your Google Slides here. Remember, we got photos from last week about what kind of windows you want, what kind of TV you wanted, what kind of couch, and what kind of you know pool table, media cabinet you wanted. So you have a couple uh, photos in here. You can start adding things that look very similar to the photos you have in your style board. So for example, if I click on catalog, 
there's a couple things I need to add or I can add if I wanted to add some dresses or some uh, a bed or a chair you could do that now if I click on catalog or just hold it over catalog I can go specific I see sofas I see sofa sets I really need a place to sit right so I'm gonna click on sofa set first and we have a lot of really cool sofas what well, looks pretty comfortable honestly I, I, this looks like I could sleep on that this looks pretty good right here you know what I'm gonna click on this couch right there I'm gonna add it in a corner here just like that I moved it around I clicked and then it locked in place if I wanted to turn it or rotate it I can click on this arrow and rotate it as necessary and then I could just click on it again and move it around as I'm moving it here Notice how in this screen, it also moves it. And let's say I leave it there and I'm looking around and I find another couch that I really, really like, that it just looks better. I can go ahead and click on my old couch, click on the top right button, your backspace button, and it's gonna delete it. Or I can undo it and just keep it there. So what I'm gonna keep doing is essentially going through and adding all this stuff that I got. So I have my couch, I have a place to sit. I'm gonna go to catalog, I'm gonna go to media units. Oops, that's not what I want. Media units, there it is. So these media units, this is like the, the really cool cabinets that I'm gonna have like all my games in. I just really like this one, right? This might not be one you like, and I'm gonna place, where am I gonna put, I'm gonna put my TV over here in this corner. So I can rotate in here. Notice how I put my cabinet out here. If I wanted to make my cabinet move around, I could. Let's see. Oh, I can add rugs. I can add this other sofa. I'll click on the sofa, y'all. I just want this one too. It's a different color and I'm gonna rotate it around using my arrow there. I'm gonna put it right there. So should I move this closer? Maybe I wanna be able to watch my TV. I'm gonna move this a little closer to my TV here. So what you're gonna be doing today, and I think this week, is just moving these around, making, adding things that you really want your game room to have. Really, really working on what you, uh, like making your your room like yours if you click on recreation i think that's where a lot of the really cool stuff you see some pianos some guitars um some drum sets look and then i got mr b loves air hockey i'm gonna add an air hockey table to my room and to be smart about it i'm gonna add it behind my couch here i'm gonna rotate it guess what someone could be playing air hockey over here while someone else is gonna watch a tv or watch TV. I'm gonna go back to catalog and I'm gonna go to scroll down. Notice how there's stuff for kitchens, bathrooms, offices. You can do all that. Look, computers. If some of y'all want computers, I'm gonna scroll down and go to electronics and I'm gonna add a television. I'm gonna click on that television and I'm gonna try to get. I think that television might be pretty big. No, it's not that big. You know what? I'm gonna delete it. I'm gonna go to another one. Oh, this one. Oh, I swear I thought that was gonna be it. You know what, I'm just gonna add one of these. Let's see, let's see, let's see. This one looks pretty good. Nope. The whole point, you know what y'all? I'm gonna be okay with this one. I put it down in the middle of the room. I'm gonna rotate it like this, and then I'm gonna move it towards the corner. And look, on the top right view, you can see it moving. I'm gonna move it back, 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 and I'm gonna place it on this wall over here. Oops, almost there, and there you go. So let's go ahead and take a look how our room's looking like. I'm gonna click on that. Our room's looking pretty good. And I still have space behind my couches. I can add some more stuff. I can add my 
my arcade games if I could find them. I can add maybe a computer station so you can, you know, maybe game online. Uh, Mr. B really likes the gym. I'm going to add some gym equipment in here. Oh, you know what? I misspoke. I really want a ping pong table. And look, you can also add stuff looking at it in this view. I like to switch over and add things in this view just because it looks a little easier for me. It, I feel like it's a bit easier. So I'm going to add a ping pong table over here. I'm going to keep scrolling. Ooh, y'all. Mr. B loves pool. Loves, loves, loves pool. I'm going to rotate this and I'm going to put this over in this corner. Now, I want you to make this look fancy too. So if it's pretty blank, I need to add a coffee table. One that you really like. Ooh, this one looks fancy, almost too fancy for me. Mm, I like this one. I think this one's gonna match a bit better. So I'm gonna add it right here, and then I'm gonna rotate this around. And if I don't like that coffee table, if I don't like how it is, I can always delete it, or I can undo and just keep it. Maybe you like this one. Maybe you don't. It's up to you. We're going to go ahead and continue to add things. Curtains. Maybe a fireplace. Interesting. Ooh, some art and posters. I'm going to try to see what some art and posters I can add to my walls. Let's see. I'm going to add something funky. That looks interesting. I think that looks pretty cool. I'm going to add it to my wall here. Notice how I'm like dragging it towards the wall. Look. My poster's on the floor here. I'm going to click on, here, I'm going to switch here by clicking on this button. If I click on this arrow, y'all, my poster's going to go up. So that's how you can move your poster up and down. Here, if I wanted to move it to the right, I could use this, and so forth. What else could I add? Ooh, that looks pretty calm. That calms me down a little bit. I'm going to add the poster in there, the painting in there. And I'm going to keep going. All right. If I click on this of the wall, I don't really love that color. I'm going to see if I can customize the wall a little bit. Uh, actually, y'all, no, let's not do that. Let's not do that yet. We're going to go to finish. We're going to click on color. And then let's see what color would y'all like these walls to be. I really like the color green for a wall, so I'm going to click on that color and try to see if I can add. There we go. Look, my wall color is green. That looks pretty peaceful. You're going to try to change it up and see what color you enjoy. Now it's blue. I don't know if I love that blue. I'll click on that. You're trying to change up the color of your walls, whatever you like your walls to be. I'm going to change it up a little bit, maybe this lighter blue. Yeah, that might look good. That's not that's not bad. That is not bad. Okay. Now for the bottom of this. Maybe you want to make, maybe you want to um, add some other things in here. It's up to you. You're trying to fill up as much as you can. But we're also going to change up the floors a bit. The floors look kind of, kind of bland. Huh? Not my favorite. I'm going to add some tile. Or you know what? This wood. I like this type of wood here. I'm going to add that to the floor. There we go. Let's scroll down. Do I like any other ones? You know what? Mr. B changes his mind. He, like this one. he likes this one better. I'm really picky. I actually like that one better. There we go. I'm just trying to show you that you can move around, change your things, and so forth. I'm going to create another video, so if you reach the end of this, you're going to be able to add more to this design. So what I want you to do now, always save before you exit, click on that save button. Sweet. All right, y'all. See y'all later.